This woman thought a teen skirt was too short, so she not only berated her in a restaurant, but she also tried to pull her skirt down, she says, so little children wouldn't see her. Now the teen is taking to social media, showing off that skirt that led to a very awkward and disturbing encounter. Choosing, losing battles. She had about 30 years to rally against the degeneracy created from feminism. Touching this one girl ain't going to change anything. Just did it out of some weird spirit. And that is one of the comments that I see underneath this video that I thought was pretty funny. And I kind of agreed with it a little bit. This older lady has an issue with the way this younger woman is dressed. Okay. She tried to take matters into her own hands. Okay to try to pull her skirt down to where she can look more modest. And I wanted to give my thoughts, you know, kind of about the situation and give, you know, how I feel about everything that happened in this little situation. But before I do so, I want to welcome everybody back to the channel. What's going on, y'all? This your boy, Get A Mic. Much love, peace, blessings, and everything in between. Thank you guys for checking into the video. If you guys have any thoughts or your own things that you want to say, feel free to drop that down in the comment section. But is this mini skirt too short to wear in public? That's what this woman thinks. She approached the teen at a restaurant and to show her displeasure, yanked the skirt down. A tense confrontation followed. I happen to work for the state and if I have to watch your cheeks hanging out again, I will call CPS. You don't need to talk to After the video went viral, 48 year old Ida Ann Lorenzo called Utah police. Did you touch her? No, I didn't. I thought you said you pulled her skirt down. I touched her skirt, but I didn't touch her. The teen was identified as 19 year old Avery Leroy, who was dining out with friends when the incident took place. Avery told cops she felt cold hands go up her skirt, touching her buttocks before she felt her skirt being pulled on. She says the encounter startled her and she felt violated. So how short was Avery's skirt? She posted this video. I had shorts under this. It's protecting a kid by covering their private parts. Correct, but that's not your job to do. I had shorts under that. This whole story to me is just kind of funny because in my personal opinion, this world and this society has gotten so far away from what's right and what's supposed to be the way things are supposed to go um, that it's almost really no need to try to fix it right now. And it seems like this world is on the way to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> in my personal opinion, uh, it seems like there's powers that's taking over this earth that's in control, that's pushing and pushing and pushing the wickedness and pushing the negativity and just pushing all the evils onto the earth. And it's, it's gotten so far out of hand, generation after generation, to the point where the kids are coming up today just not having any ounce of understanding, not a single ounce of wisdom, not a single ounce of righteousness nowhere in them and in this situation um, although I feel like the older lady I think she's 48 I believe she had the right thought process in mind you know just trying to you know show what's appropriate and what's inappropriate um, but where she went wrong is putting her hands on somebody or trying to force somebody to do something she wanted them to do and if there's one thing I learned in life is that you got to live and let live there's a lot of things in this earth that i can't stand things that i hate that i wish was different but i understand that i do not have the power to really um make make any kind of change that you know what i'm saying at this point in time you have a whole system that's going in one direction and you just trying to push everybody in the other direction it's not going to happen only thing we can do in this day and age to set ourselves apart and be separate and different from all of the stuff that's going on is to lead by example, to do different things and do what you feel is right according to God and according to the Bible, if you believe in the Bible. Uh, I just think in this day and age, it's um, it's almost a lost cause to really try and fix it. OK, there's so many different systems put in place, so many different things that are just going against righteousness. And important uh, in my personal opinion, a lot of it, although most people, you know, think, you know, differently i believe that I, I believe the creator got a lot to do with why everything is so bad and that's my personal opinion based on the scriptures and i think the world has gotten so far away the world has worshiped idols and, and being wicked for so long i think god is just letting it go all the way bad 
So he's righteous when he get ready to destroy this thing. But I mean, while trying to look to see exactly who was wrong in this situation, to be honest, I understand what the older lady was trying to do. I understand that she was trying to, you know, help the young lady out for her to start to try to look modest in front of people. But at the end of the day, in today's society, with the laws that they make in this land, you can't do what you want to do in this land. You have to let people do what they want to do. The young lady, the 19 year old with the short skirt on, although she's dressing immodest and a lot of people might, you know, might want to, you know, say that what she's doing is immoral, is, is not modest and she shouldn't be dressing like a hoe. Um, but at the end of the day, in this particular society and many societies around the world, um, you know, certain people, you know, have rights you know, have certain rights and you you can't just go around, you know, doing what you feel like is right. And I, I see that happen a lot of times in life where people see things the way they, they want to see them or they, they you know, want to make things the way they believe it should be. But at the end of the day, you know, they go and try to take matters into their own hands and make things what they think it should be. But for some reason in this world, it, they do not allow uh, peers or people in society to to help with the judgment process when it comes to what everybody individually doing so they kind of created a society to where people can't even really um, hold each other accountable you know for what we do and keep each other on the right path they basically in in this country and many countries they basically tell you that you know you have no right to tell other people what to do. Everybody's their own individual. Everybody can do what they want to do. So if you see, uh, if you're a man and you see a young man doing something that he's not supposed to be doing, technically we're not supposed to say nothing to him and vice versa with the women. But uh, although it's wrong, that's just the way they kind of got it set up in this land where you kind of got to let people do what they do. You can try your best to try to talk them in, you know, talk them into what you want them to do, but you don't have any necessary uh, rights you know to really intervene just like the officer told her uh in that call or or when he met up with the older lady and he basically told her that you don't have no you know that's not for you to do if you feel like her skirt is too short you don't really have you know a say so in whether or not um she she makes that change man but just a sad world we live in people could do what they want people could dress how they want people could do uh pretty much anything they want to do long as it doesn't go against their laws they won't do nothing to you but there's a lot of stuff that's wrong there's a lot of things that's immoral like infidelity the adultery and stuff like that they don't really have no issue with that in this country they let you be free to to commit whatever sins and whatever things you want to do as um, long as it doesn't go against their laws but in my personal opinion um the old lady you know she did what she tried to do you know, she tried to make the changes she wanted to see, but hey, it's too late, man. But it is what it is. Y'all let me know down in the comment section how you feel about it. If you think that I'm wrong, if you think I'm, you know, being crazy, or let me know if you agree, man. Holla at your boy. Be respectful. Much love, peace, and blessings. And I'll holla at y'all in the next video.